Take a look at this convenience store. It has been completely wiped out by floodwaters along with the entire village of Schoharie. About 1,200 residents here and almost every single home in the village is without power and was impacted severely by the floodwaters. This is the watermark. You can just see it there about eight feet high over my head. This entire Main Street area was submerged and now it's going to take months to clean it all up. I think that's the part that's hitting us. Um Joe and Suzanne Parisi are at the end of their rope. Their historic 1830s home has been soaked by floodwaters. The entire first floor at one point was completely underwater. It was just unbelievable. All the furniture just disarranged, uh, three inches of silk on the floor. Uh, the smell, the fuel oil smell from the whole village. The smell, as soon as you got down into the valley, the smell was the first yeah. thing. That smell came from a fuel tank that ruptured, so not only are the homes here waterlogged, the entire village smells like gasoline. And because local firefighters are at their breaking point dealing with the cleanup, 18 volunteer fire companies from Erie County are here to help, including Chafee Sardinia and Bowmansville. As for the 75% of homeowners here who suffered catastrophic damage, the decision whether to rebuild or flee is one that will have to wait. And we knew things could happen here, but now that we've experienced this, obviously it's a long haul and I think ultimately we have to do day by day. It's very difficult to project into the future without making yourself completely crazy. Nearly everything here is caked and covered with mud. The cleanup is going to take literally months and officials fear that as many as 75% of the homes in this village will have to be condemned and torn down. We're in the village of Skohari, John Borsa, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.